So, we've got these cut out, cladding for the C part on the top. And I've been just using this, I don't know, was that, 116 dry die grinder wheel, cutting wheel, and I was able to get the curves and everything with it, so that worked pretty good. I just go over and over and over until it gets the C. I've got the lower panels mounted. And that's that bend I was talking about, right? Oh, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah. It goes all the way underneath, and I just screwed it down to hold it there. And I put these surface screws in here for the time being for that. And this C section's cut out and ready. Chad's over there grinding. I hope you can hear me okay. I wanted to give a quick update on what we've been doing. It's about 8 o'clock tonight, and I finished stripping all the metal, but now I'm working on the wheels, and what I need to do is strip the metal parts with the wire brush, which is sitting right here, and then I'm having to hand sand these um, wood spokes, and let me tell you how daunting it is, and how, yeah, we'll just say that, it's, it's not too bad, I just use a knife, let me go on the other side. So this side, what I'm doing is I'm taking my knife, it's a piece of junk. <laughs> it's not very sharp, which is what we want, because all I'm trying to do is just break off, and I'm just scraping this off, the paint off, like that. And then what I did is I took one of these pieces of sandpaper that goes on the, you know, the disc, the, the whatever you call it. I can't think tonight, I'm really tired. I just cut it in half, and then what I've been doing is wrapping, I can do this with one hand, I've been wrapping it like this, and then I can't do it whole while holding the, the tablet, but um, I just, you know, pull it back and forth so that it, it gets on that one side, and then I'll flip it around and do the other side, so it's taking me about, I don't know, two hours just to do this part of it steady two hours so I don't know I might have to take these wheels off just these here and then this splits so that way I can get all of the metal stripped we'll have to just see how it goes so then I wanted to give an update too. Chad's been doing all the cladding and he's got all the pieces on the outside and now he's working on the doors I just realized that my finger had touched the camera button so it shut off, but he's got these doors. He's got the metal here, and then he put the hinges on so that he can build the doors. And right now he's cutting metal for the side doors. And you could burn up that grinder. Did you? Yeah. You can use mine, just switch it out. Or there's a brand new one up there on the... I, that was the brand new one. Really? Yeah, I have to take that back to Harbor Freight. <laughs> of course, I'm cutting through 8-gauge stinking steel. That was the last one? Cause well, the I had more in there, but that's the last brand new one. Yeah, I thought that was the last one. Because I burned one up the other day. Anyway, you can see all our piles of crap that's in here. So these are all the parts. I just threw them all in a pile. Fenders, hood, front radiator parts. Um, the heck? Oh. And then there's the splash shields and the. What do you call those things? Side steps, I guess. So I'm back at the shop. We haven't done a video since last week. And I wanted to just do a quick update. Chad is welding on the side doors. I'll go on the other side so you can see it. But he he cut the back doors yesterday and welded them on. So now he's just got to do the wood backing. Is that right? Yeah. We what we did is we because these are heavy. I mean this is eight eight uh, eight, eight gauge, gauge steel. And uh, so I welded them onto the hinges. And then what we'll do is we'll back it with two by fours or two by sixes just for. The heck of it. Yeah. 
And so that way it gives it something to behind it to where it'll butt up nice and I can trim it to fit tight. But it worked pretty good. So I'll show it to you guys when it's all closed up. <coughs> but right now, today, <coughs> can you explain what you did? I just flush mounted these hinges here along here and I did four on the bottom, four on the top because again this is eight gauge steel, it's very heavy. You don't have the top ones in yet? No, not at all. But uh, what I have to do first is we'll weld them on to the hinges just like we did out here. So they're and ground this, on like, there's these ground out like this so that's where the weld will be. Yeah, and so we're going to do that on the, on, the, on the back side here and then we'll just cut off what overhangs right here. Oh, I see. We'll just, after we're done welding it on, we'll just cut it off. Nice. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll figure out how to, you know, make that into part of the shelf unit. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but uh, it's yeah. going to be cut along here, somewhere down the middle. So it'll be cut somewhere down the middle. Sorry, we're just really, really blinded over here. Like that. Yeah, we'll okay. have it, but it'll just barely miss the fender is the whole idea. Yep. So right now I so have to weld it in we first. We have to mount the fenders before you even make the cut so that you can measure how far that will be. Right. But I'm going to have to paint the fenders first. So yeah. we'll uh, uh, get this bottom welded on both sides. And then I'm, and I'm then afterwards, so then we'll cut this. that, And then afterwards we'll mount the top and trim it. And the reason why is because we want to get that gap when it does the curve. I don't know what's going to happen when we do that. We may lose it because it's a pretty tight curve in a couple spots. And like that we were able to do just with the die grinder right there and going around this curve here. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what, if we can do that on this side one with thicker steel or not. How, how did you get work. bird crap on this? It was sitting outside. Oh. <laughs> the other thing he did was his front cowl piece. And he must have just set it on here because it wasn't on here when I left. Yeah, it's just sand. It's just... Let me go on the other side. It is to, bright out here today. I had to trim this top piece. Just so that way, well, with this is fitting tight, it'll clear. But then it'll just barely clear so we can get to the coils. Yeah. So we just cut that out and so, sanded it. So we sanded it really nice and smooth and then. Well, we not just, nice and smooth, but smooth enough. It's pretty smooth. Still rustic, but. Yeah. And so what I've done today, all the parts are on the trailer over there. We're going to get ready to spray these today. And then. Tomorrow I'll be wet sanding, I think. So anyway, we'll give you the next update in, in a little bit. That's about most of the way cut out. There's a little bit of attachment in between, which I've left, because now we've got to score the inside. I wanted to make sure we were going to be able to get this uh, cut right to where it was a nice fine line <coughs> with the grinder. And we were able to, so that was kind of nice. As it went down, I just, uh, instead of using the wide angle or the wide end, as soon as it went down, then I used it for the final cut. So uh, I should be able to make the final cut on the other side now with this. But I couldn't make the corners with the wide grind disc. So now we've got to mark the top, and then we'll cut the top and screw it in. Then we can finish our cut here. So it should be good to go. We were a little bit slow today. If I'm yelling, it's because I've got earplugs in. <laughs> you weren't yelling. Okay. But uh, we were a little slow today because we had to mess with the door. It got unjammed yesterday. And so after a few unchristian words... We got it fixed. Hey, the scriptures say to uh, confess your sins to one another, so there it was. After a few unchristian words, we got the thing back on there and uh, back onto the good project. 
So I've got a quick question about this, just so that they're even. Are you going to take this off and just use this as a template for the other it's side? It's already done. What I did is I took a tape line. If you'll just just hold right there. Yeah. I took this. And you what masked I did is it. I just masked it off, and then when I was done, I pulled it and did the other side. And all I did is flip it, put a little two, two tape tabs on it. Mm, I see. And just taped it on there. So that way it's symmetric on both yep, sides. Yep, that way it's all symmetric and even on every side. But you can see the other side's already cut. <clears throat> not all the way. The detail's not cut. I need to go back over there. And you just cut it. Yeah, I see. So that one, you, if you get close, you can see it's already through most of the way. This one is not. Mm-hmm. Right there. So it's not through there, but it's through all the rest of it. Right. So it's through mm -hmm. most of the way, but I don't want to finish it off until I'm done, until I'm making that cut. So now we'll mark the top and cut it. What are you drinking? Uh, attitude adjuster. <laughs> Raspberry attitude adjuster. Raspberry wheat? Mm -hmm. You like that? It's not bad. I'm having strawberries with coconut water. Blend it up. And vodka? Four cups of it. No, there's no alcohol in it. Scientist goggles on. Yeah, well, I can't see with them on, so. Do you want to help? You got that. I think it's hung up in the corner. So I just wanted to get on here, it's about a quarter after nine, Saturday night, and give an update. Um, when Chad was cutting this panel, this one here, this panel, I noticed that the hinge was off. And I said, I think your hinge is off. And it was, so it was like right here, and it had to be this far over, so. Forget the main part though. He, At least it was, we, I welded the stupid hinge in there, <laughs> so we had to take it off anyway. Yeah, it was, it wasn't, it needed to come out anyway, but just the point is, is that I'm glad it was that one and not another one that had to come out anyway, because it had to come out anyway, but anyway, I can, if I can say that in three, three, that, that same word three times in the same sentence, anyway, he is P.O.R.ing, if anybody knows what P.O.R. is, paint over rest product, the cowl and some parts. We we couldn't decide if we wanted to spray them or Chad just said, well, let's just brush it on. So. Well, for what we're doing, we can brush it on. We just have to get some of these parts done so we can get moving along. We've got to get the cowl on. We can't get the cowl on until this is P.O.R.ed.
We're, we're kind of running behind schedule, I think, a little bit. Well, behind schedule of what I wanted to be this week, but I had a monstrous amount, and we did another job, too, so... Yeah. Can't get everything done all at once. I guess some things that are good we that we did is we did get these this cut. Chad got it cut and then he also built the floor for in here, which is kind of a big deal. It's just it's all steel and it's going to be painted over too, so How much of that you got you have left? We are very tired. Uh, we've got your stuff done. We've got four weeks to complete this project, and because the results will be interesting and neat. And done. what do you think? 